Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be sharing to you how I created these floating rocks inside Unreal Engine. Okay, so in order for us to create these floating rocks, we have to create our own blueprint. While creating this tutorial, the level I've been working around for like several weeks now crashed and this is the only thing that has been left. So might as well make a tutorial. <laughs> In order to begin, let's go to our content drawer. I already have the existing blueprints here, but we're going to create a new one so you guys could follow. So right click, blueprint class, select actor, and then from here, let's rename this floating underscore mesh. Double click, we are going to add a cube. So this is going to be our placeholder. Then inside here, we are going to our event graph and we're going to begin creating the animation that we want to be instilled in that cube. Okay, so in here, let's create a new node. Right click and type timeline, hit enter, right click again and type set relative location because we want it to move in the um, Z axis. So let's plug the update to this one. Let's give this cube an animation. So go to our timeline and double click. Then inside here, we are going to add a new track, which is add vector track. In our vector track, we are going to right click on the zero, zero position. So before we right click, let's close the X and Y axis. So right click here, then add Z or Z. And then inside the timeline, let's press zero because we want it to start at frame zero. And then in the value, let's start with a value of zero. And then the length would be five or five seconds. And in here, let's add uh, another key and let's change the time to five and the value into a hundred. All right, then let's hit this. Now let's hit compile, save, and then let's go to our event graph and then let's plug our new track into new location. And then also let's plug our event begin play, compile, save, and then let's go to our new world. Let's bring our floating mesh inside of viewport. Just drag it in here. Let's do it again. Okay. Then let's take a look. All right. It's moving upwards and it stopped. Now we are going to try and mimic the movement of the rocks that we have here in the viewport. So let's go back to our floating mesh blueprint. And then copy paste this tree, just control C, control V, or just hit duplicate. And then we're going to give it a command that when it is finished, it's going to do the reverse. And then we're going to plug the finish into the play to start. So it's going to have a looping animation. So hit compile, save, then let's take a look. However, it's moving back to frame zero and it's like it's snapping and we don't want that. So let's go back to the blueprint and then timeline template. And then in here, we're going to add another keyframe. So in the middle, I'm going to add and uh, probably time is 2.5 and then change this to the value of 50 or, or 100. Oops. And then we're going to change this one into zero. We're going to change this instead of linear. We're going to change it to auto so that it would have a smoother transition of movement. Select and right click and then hit auto and then compile, save, and then let's take a look. Awesome. Now it's moving up and down, but we could also add some few more movements like a rotation. So let's go back to the blueprint and then let's go to our hmm, in here in the components and then let's just add rotate. So inside rotating movement, we go to the rotation rate. Right now it's in 180. Compile and then save. Probably this is going to be moving so fast. Yes. So let's change it to 45, 45. And then this one into probably 45 as well. Because I'm just playing around with the numbers here. So hit compile, save, go to new, hit play. And then there we have it. We have our rotating cube and also it's hovering. Now let's change this floating cube into a different mesh because right now it's just a placeholder. So let's go back to our blueprint and then 
Let's select the cube inside the component. Go to static mesh inside here. Let's select an interesting mesh. For me, I'm just going to select a probably a group of rock. Group small. I'm going to choose this one. And then hit compile and save. And let's take a look. All right. Let's take a closer look. And there we have it. We now have a group of floating small rocks inside our scene. Now we could actually use this kind of approach if we want to have a fantasy looking mesh inside our level or whatever you prefer. So um, I hope you guys learned something here and I'll be creating another tutorial, probably a different one. I hope I could show you guys the level that I was creating a few weeks ago. Well, thank you so much for watching the video till the very end. Thanks. Bye.